morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We give thanks and praise and praise and thanks to the Almighty for another beautiful day. And today, January the 23rd, 2015, I, Dr. Ayo Handy Kendi, breathologist, stress manager, laughter yoga teacher, and a holistic practitioner, speak to you as the host of the Sage and Baby Boom. Show. Uh, this show will have a very special friend and guest, uh, Dr. K, we call her, Khadija, Karen Khadija Davis Folks, who is one of our Inner Light Radio hosts, also with Heart to Heart, will be discussing the April 30th. Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day, and April being uh, Conscious Self-Care Month. Uh, we're excited because um, she's uh, really live in our studios, and uh, we don't always get a chance to have a actual live person in our studios, but she is here, and I think you're going to really want to hear her information because she's speaking about something very timely that many people in our Sage and Baby Boomers community are dealing with. It's the issue of breaking away from these very terrible, horrible medicines. And she's going to bring also some alternatives to us breaking away. All here today on the Sage and Baby Boomers show. Where we say we're not aging, we're saging. We're growing wiser as we age. Uh, We speak to those born between 1946 and 1964, folks who are pretty much over the age of 50, people we say who are uh, not just aging, but they're saging. They're growing wiser as we age. And we speak about the four eyes of quality saging. That's information, inspiration, innovation, and initiative. And uh, we come to you with this show every Thursday from 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can hear the show on Positive Energy Works. Uh, that's Positive at 1E that connects positive with energy. We also have a way you can hear the show over the phone, 712 432 Zero nine zero zero, a pin number nine nine eight four nine pound. You also can hear the show for about a week. It's a week playback. That week playback number seven one two four three two zero nine zero zero. Pen numbers nine nine eighteen oh nine pounds. Same number, different call in. And um we may get a chance to open up the lines. We're going to see how the show flows because I understand we have a dynamic um live broadcast right after the show. So we're just going to um go with the flow. We'll I'll let you know if we're going to open up the lines or not. But in the meantime, (laughs) we want you to sit back. Don't forget to join the community of Sage and Baby Boomers on Facebook. But for right now, let's identify our sponsor, Positive Energy Works. And get your movement shoes on when we come back. We're going to groove a little bit and get right into our guests. Yes. Yes, positive energy works for you. Positive energy works. Positive energy works. Positive energy works for you. As we take you on the power of the breath tour four. This is our fourth around the country experience where we bring the power of the breath to you, your city, your home, your town, over the phone, over the internet, wherever we are able to share the information of the power of the breath. And we are coming to the West Coast. This will be a premiere of a West Coast experience of the power of the breath, May 31st from 6 to 9 at the Crafts 
Unity Center. Crash Unity Center is located in LA, 7825 Southwestern Avenue. <clears throat> we want you to see your face because we've been broadcasting from the East Coast uh, with our Inner Light Studios on the West Coast. So we are looking so forward to coming to the Crash Unity Center of African Spiritual Science. And we understand that if you've got something going on, you come to the Crash Unity Center. We've got something going on for you, life-changing information breathology, the art and science of breath awareness, breath mechanics, and techniques that enhance the spirit, mind, and body. Also, laughter, yoga, uh, de-stress busters, and the art <coughs> of self pleasure all part of the power to breath show coming to you um we don't want you to miss it uh may not know when we'll be back on the west coast so you get your tickets today uh tickets will be available online uh starting friday and it's only ten dollars in advance it'll be fifteen dollars at the door uh, we do have a no one turned away policy but you want to bring two or three people, okay? So get the discount by getting those tickets in advance. If you want further information, call us at 202-667-2577. Again, that number is 202-667-2577. See me, I'm Dr. Ayo. I'm a breathologist, and I'm the founder of Optimum Life Breathology. And... Brother John, who is a preeminent composer and sound healing, because there is power in the breath, we are coming to L.A. to support you in advancing all of your power. See you in the house. Power to Breath Tour 4 coming to L.A. May 31st. Well, we're going to give ourselves a little moment to stretch before we bring Dr. K on. And um, Brother Jamal is standing by with a little stretch of music. So you want to stand up and you want to reach, just reach up towards the heavens, we say, um, as you stretch in this dynamic posture. Take a deep breath in. And try to hold that breath just for a half a second in the belly. Inhale. Always remember for your regular maintenance breath, inhale, belly out. Exhale, belly in. A total opposite from what most of us do. Feel this belly breath. Feel it expanding because as you reach out to the heavens, there's a tendency that the breath is going to come up to the chest. <clears throat> That's all right for our breath technique. But our goal is to reach up and just hold it there and just allow the belly to expand. Good. And exhale and release. And inhale and exhale. You will feel some chest expansion in this posture. But it's very important that um, <laughs> as we breathe into the belly, we're going to bring it up to mid-chest and then to upper chest. And the upper chest deserves our attention, too, um, <clears throat> because so much stuck energy is there, so much toxic waste, you know. So just breathe and just allow the breath to go in its natural flow, its natural rhythm. And as you're feeling just a little lightheaded like I am, <laughs> you just bring the arms down just like a bird flapping their wings, okay? You may notice some tension in your shoulders, so this is what we do. Shake that out. Let's shake that out. Good, good, good. Now we're going to stand on our two feet, and if you are not standing, that's fine. Sit in the chair. And I want you to just, we call this the jiggle. 
and just kind of jiggle the energy around as we have done that dynamic stretch. Just kind of shake, just as if your hands are kind of flopping to the side. Just shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. You know, just feel the, the energy flow, okay? We sit in chairs way too long. We sit all day. And uh, we need to move. You gotta move. You gotta move that energy. Now, I want you to breathe into any tight spot. And uh, Brother Jamal, we're gonna kind of wind the music on down. This is gonna be a quick, quick little shake because we have a whole lot to say with Dr. K. And uh, so, just let's just kind of let the stretch wherever you feel you need to stretch. Just stretch that area. I need shoulders. I sit in a computer. I type a lot. I need shoulders and neck. Some people may need back. Go with this very gentle in your stretch. And as you stretch, I want you to energetically send the breath right to that spot. Just visualize the breath going right to the source of wherever your tension is. And just see the breath loosening out the muscles flowing through the bones and moving that synovial fluid through the bones and just keeping the whole body supple and free. Ah, the way a body is meant to be. All right. Ah, nice, nice, nice quickie. <laughs> Oh, good, good, Brother Jamal. Thank you so much. I appreciate you always. We are coming up on a day that has um, broad implications for the entire world. This is the fifth <clears throat> annual Emancipate Yourself for Medical Mental Slavery Day. It's going to be a cell abration spelled c e l l hyphen a hyphen b r a t i o n because of course the more we give our cells of which our body is made up of all this pollutant medicine then we make it difficult for our cells to do what they naturally can do. But if we emancipate ourselves and stop taking the medicine, then the cells will have a chance to celebrate. And Dr. K, who is the visionary of this very, very uh, emancipating concept, is here with us to talk about the importance of this day. Dr. K, how are you this morning? Dr. Ayo Handy Kendi, greetings, greetings to the Sage and Baby Boomer Show, all the listeners of Inner Light Radio. I'm honored to be here at Positive Energy Works. It's Earth Day, and yeah. I'm looking out the window, and I'm seeing all the trees, the land, the purple trees. It's awesome being here at Positive Energy Works. I am doing fantastic. I'm so thankful that you're here too, and 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 um, you know we we really appreciate this day. Um, we say that um, you know Sage and Baby Boomers are supposed to learn new information. We're definitely not supposed to stay stuck in the old paradigms. And a great deal of your work as a practitioner has been devoted to moving us forward into what you say to uh, move us beyond the dark ages of uh, medicine, the, uh, the, all the old stuff around uh, the world of pharmaceutical drugs, um, so many of the old things that, you know, just really – when we need them, yes, there have been some help and some medical advances, yes. But your work has been devoted to taking us to the next level of health care. So you not only named April as conscious self-help uh, or self-help care day, month, I'm sorry, let me get it together, um, April as 
Conscious Self-Help Care Month. I got it right, right. <laughs> Which means you, you've uh, asked us for a whole month to look at the issue of self-care. And then we culminate on April 30th uh, for Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day. How did this vision come to you um, Dr. K, you you mentioned to me that's that's quite a story. I'm I'm quite excited about stories. <laughs> yes. How how, yeah, how, did, how did this come about? That's 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 uh it's different for me to uh tell stories and testimonies and it's interesting that the things that you tend to um move away from comes to you for you to actually bring about that change in your life. So mm-hmm. so now I find myself telling stories, which mm-hmm. is a, a wonderful thing. And so it is a long story, but I'm gonna keep it short. Um as I've been in this field for over twenty five years and uh for the past fifteen years I've solely been supporting individuals with observing their behavior and how they look at health care and the care of themselves. And uh, just asking themselves the simple question, uh, are you working from a man-made mindset of consciousness? And, of course, people always say, what do you mean by that? And I say that's the question that you need to ask yourself and look for the answers. And then you'll know if you're working from your own perspective of what you've learned to put into your life or are you still living from somebody else's vision of what health care is for yourself. But uh, in this journey, in this walk of life, um, I'm also a very spiritual person. I'm very tuned into energy. I listen more to the energetic vibrations of a person's being more so than their physical um, attributes and what they show me. That's very much a part of it, but I vibrate to the energy of an individual. And um, so my whole goal has been to assist people with what their bodies are saying. Ourselves, I have been crying out to get back to nature, back to simplicity, not to be so congested and bogged down with so many different different um, types of protocols within our bodies that it doesn't serve us. So our cells in themselves has been crying out. The universe has been crying out for us to stop polluting our bodies. Just because of the advancement of man and man is able to bring a lot into the world, we do not need to take away from the natural analog vibration of what we, we do as, a, as, as human beings and citizens of, of planet Earth. And so I, I hear that vibration. So it was a a walk that felt alone for a while because um, my whole practice has been um, buried disease thinking. When you come to me, that's the first thing, observance. We have to let go of that and realize that we are creating cellular malfunctions. And that's a word that they don't use in the community a lot uh, in the past to assist people with understanding that you break down your cells. You cause your cells to perform. And so we had that disconnect, and I wanted to bring that connection back that your cells can only do what you say and what you do for them to survive. And that's how well they're going to survive. But the day came about because after years of doing what I was doing, I started a a program called Relearn, Rethink, Rewrite Your Personal Prescription Plan through funding from the Far South East Collaborative in Washington, D.C. for the past 10 years. They funded my program and bring it into the community. So it culminated with... um, a friend of my husband's, um, who Mama Abdul Malik was friends with Brother Adur, Brother Hadari Abdul Ali. And for a number of years, Ayo, I had been feeling, um, I, um, Brother Hadari's energy, and I had mm-hmm. felt that something was going on with his cells. So I would say to my husband, you know, I said, uh, you know, something is not right. And I like Hadari, something is going on. And when I like somebody, I mean, I want to share my weirdness with them, but they don't really accept that somebody's telling them that something is going on. So mm-hmm. I would share it with my husband, and he was like, well, tell him. And I was like, no, nah, you know, I can't tell him there's something like. But anyway, a couple of years later, because of their relationship and how close they are, Hadari went to my husband and shared with him some of his health concerns. He was like, man, you know, Karen has been telling me for what well, Khadija has been telling me for a number of years and she has been feeling something. So they decided to sit down with me, him and his wife, and create a plan. And he shared with me what was going on with him. And so I had just written the book. Step up out of the dark ages of disease care, you know, finding optimal health. And I was really excited because of the level of Brother Hadar Abdul Ali, his education, his activism, just his whole energy and spirit. I was really excited because this book was is to assist individuals with asking themselves that question. Are you working from a man-made mindset of human consciousness about your health? Are you stuck in an old paradigm of thinking of how to care for your body? Mm-hmm. And so I let him read the book. He wrote an endorsement to the book, 
And uh, so he started on his health care journey, Ayo, and uh, he had 45 days before he went back to the doctor to determine if he was going to do chemo and radiation. And mm-hmm. so in coming to me, again, my whole practice is we are we observing ourselves, we changing ourselves because it's conscious self-health care. And so he made a lot of changes and his energy was up and he looked great. And then he went back to the doctors and the doctor was like, you know, you're nourished, you look good, you're fine, your cells are strong, but you still got cancer. And, you know, you still need to do this. And so they came back to me and said, you know, well, we talked and we're going to do that. Can we still work with you? And I'm like, I can't do that. I don't work in the field of disease care. Matter of fact, I'm not even allowed to work in that field. I'm not even allowed to talk about that field because I am not a Western medicine doctor. Mm-hmm. I am not board certified. I have no nothing from the Western field except for mm-hmm. the information that is given to us to work from as a platform, which I so honor the medical industry because it's a powerful industry. You know what I'm saying? They have given us so much data, so much information. They have made so many changes for people through catastrophic events. You got to give thumbs up to yeah. the medical industry for what they've done. But for the care of your human body, for yeah. me, that's a no, no. They can't care for your human body. Only you can care for your human body. And drugs won't do that. But, you know, everybody make their walk of life and they make their choice. And so I had Mm -hmm. to support it. So he went on and he did the chemo, in which we really know that he didn't survive. He didn't make it through the process. And so my heart was, like, really, really hurting. And I asked my husband to uh, write a poem for him. It's a wonderful poem about sweet water and salt water don't mix. And um, before he went to have the uh, chemo and radiation, because I really wanted him to come back. You're feeling good. You're looking good. You know, we can carry this a little bit further, get into quantum health and healing, get into informational medicine. Let's step up to the other part of what I, what I do, not just nutrition. And so I, um, it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. And so um, my heart was hurting. But I had been getting a nudge to create this day. And I'm like, I don't know what it's about and what you want me to do. I'm already doing enough talking about barrier disease things and don't take pharmaceuticals. I mean, that's mm-hmm. enough. What energy, you know, universe, what else are you asking me to do? You know, mm-hmm. create this day. Now make it broad. Now stand out. You want me to do this? And I'm like, nah, the day just kept coming, coming, coming. Mm-hmm. And so it was April, Ayo, and uh, most of the people that I had been working with, like yourself and Dr. Patterson and a few other people, y'all were out doing certain things. And the universe kept saying, do it now, do it now, create mm-hmm. the day. And I'm like, how can you create a day in three weeks and try to get things done? But you know what? I just, I really I just stopped fighting the energy and said, okay, I don't know what it's going to be. Emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery. Day. Are you serious? <laughs> That's Bob Marley. Emancipate yourself, you know, from mm-hmm. mental slavery. Yeah, but put the medical in there because they ain't hearing right. They got right. the conscience down, but they ain't got the care of the body down right. And I'm like, what? You want me to put those two things together and say that? And I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I did it and I called on uh Sister Ivy uh, Hilton, Reverend Dr. Ivy Hilton, and Manifest Rob, because their schedules was free. And I'm like, I got to do this day, so I'm going to introduce the movie, The Living Matrix, that brings you into the understanding of the new frontier in healthcare and how it's solely your responsibility that you're not a victim to your genes, you're not a victim to your environment that you can consciously make the change. And so the day came about because the universe has always put in me that I will be doing something like this, out of the box, totally unique, Mm -hmm. away from everybody else. I ran from it all my life, and uh, then I decided to just walk into it. And uh, so the day came out of the love that I had for Hadari Abdul Ali, and then he didn't do as I I wanted. which (laughs) And so, you know, and... uh, and then the universe kept saying is this is the reason why you need to do it because we're not consciously focusing that we are responsible for the care of our human frame. No matter how intelligent we are, no matter how much history we know, we will still give our body over to a system. Yeah. And even if you do alternative, holistic, complementary, CAM, you into all that, for some reason, we will still say the bottom line is I got to go back to Western medicine. I got to mm-hmm. do drugs. And I just didn't understand that. So it's a day of being aware and, and it's, it's a month to find out what's really happening in this field of medicine. Who has made the change? Who has shifted energy? Who has done something great? Let me find out because when I have those tools around me, then I'm able to shift my energy a little bit more better and not stay with the sheep and follow the crowd. 
Oh, I love it. I love it. It's a very powerful story. And and it has such broad replications right now. The FDA is looking at homeopathic remedies and uh, people are, are writing petitions and um, demanding that uh, the FDA back off from, um, you know, trying to shut down the homeopathic um, uh, world that, that has done so much for so many people. Uh, there are all sorts of ways in which um, the world of natural alternative complementary medicines is expanding and exploding, and we're being challenged by the world of medicine. I agree they've done a lot, but uh, why can't people have the choice? So your Emancipation Day gives people that choice. It's really saying something. It's really saying a message that um, – we do need to follow some of our own very intuitive self-care awarenesses. And as a way of thanking the people who have followed their own path, you have uh, instituted a uh, visionary award of the year. Uh, it is an award that gives a community participant uh, an honor for really fostering this concept. And this year's awardee is our own brother Jamal Gori, who is the president and founder of Inner Light Radio. And uh, brother Jamal, he is the former host of Talking, uh, let's see, I don't see this exactly. Talking Drum Community Forum okay, on KJLHFM, yes. Okay, okay. So Brother Jamal, with his commitment with the radio, uh, with the radio broadcast and the light radio, not only gives us a platform, but he has really been walking this walk for a long, long time. You've had other recipients, and this year's day is going to not have a celebration in a specific location we've had this celebration for the last uh, four years in washington dc you decided to have a virtual celebration tell us about what's going to happen in the virtual celebration as we <laughs> honor dr Jam our brother jamal wow it, yeah it was um through the need of things that i have gone through over the past um past year and um working through the transitioning uh, of my mother and the whole medical debago and all of that, that uh, energy spoke to me and said that, um, you know, uh, I, I wanted to keep it uh, physical. I was going to do it on the West Coast and do one on the East Coast and, you know, and then bring it all together. And the universe kept saying that um, you need to leave the brick and border. It's about sharing the information as widely as you can. And so what other platform than the platform that you share the information with every day? And the fact that Inner Light Radio is an international radio station. And Brother Jamal is known all over through his radio station, but not only through the radio station, but through he is as a person. And so because of the fact that he has his wide range, and I, I want to reach more practitioners, because it's not just a, a Washington, D.C. practitioner's thing. It's not just me, the, the individual that I support. If you know someone that is in that has made a, a major change, we want to honor them as well. Someone is doing something great in the community. So I need to get the information out. So being this the fifth year, being this is the year of eight, being this is the year of mm -hmm. sharing and getting information mm -hmm. out, you know, I decided at the uh, last minute that uh, I would do it um, through Interlight Radio. It's going to be the global conscious self health care uh, conference call. And, um, I invited individuals that have past recipients of the, uh, prestigious community visionary award. They will be coming on other individuals that are prominent in the community that are doing things to lift humanity into the realm of conscious self health care. And so I wanted to be able to reach more individuals, share with more practitioners and bring a global understanding and a new conversation about self care and letting go of gene therapy that we're just limited to that and, uh, what we've been taught through Western medicine because there is a change. In the past uh, over 100 years, quantum health and healing, quantum physics has been coming up as true to itself in the medical field. And it's what they say is the junk of the DNA that's no good. That's you. That's your consciousness. That's your life. You're the creator of your life. So how can he say it's no good that you are irrelevant? You are relevant to your being here on planet Earth. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want to be here. 
And so right. nothing outside of you is controlling that. You are the, the conscious person of that. And we want people to come back to that knowingness, that understanding, and feel comfortable with it. Be comfortable to say that you take care of yourself, how you take care of yourself, and not depending on pharmaceuticals. Uh, yes, I'm very strong on pharmaceuticals because I know and trust what they tell me about it. Uh -huh. I trust what they say. You know, I trust the commercials. I trust the, the literature. You telling me that it's no good for me. And if I'm a woman, I should never, ever take a drug if I think about having a baby. So I believe you. That's right. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> hold, hold tight. Hold your thought. Because, I mean, that's the truth. We're all running around listening to doctors and doctors so sometimes, right? But doctors don't have, the, they don't have everything. I think we have a call of 301. I'm not sure if this is a call or a listener. Uh, we're, uh, we're on the uh, Sage and Baby Boomer show. You have a comment or a question for our guest? Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, good. Dr. Io. Hi. And, and 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 good morning to Dr. K. Uh, this is this is Prana out in Maryland. Hi, Prana. How are you? I was, I'm I'm just great. I, I had a chance today in between meetings to to get the program on, and it's just great to hear you and hear that Dr. K's on uh, this morning. We're I wanted excited. to um, yes. Go ahead and ask a question. I, I love what she's doing. I absolutely love it, Dr. K. And I wanted to extend um, an invitation to you. Um, we're doing something in May, around the 7th of May, in, in regards to getting people fit, getting them healthy, thinking about their health and all alternatives to uh, traditional uh, allopathic medicine. And I would love to extend an invitation for you to maybe come and participate in our health fair. So uh, just keep wow. that in mind, and wow. I'll get in touch with your office. But the Promise. program is Thank wonderful today. Thank you so today. very much. But I'm going to answer that for you right now all when you, as you leave in air. Uh, I am going to be in Denver at the Nest Health Conference, uh, and so I will be there for about two weeks in Denver during that time. So thank you for that opportunity. But when I come back, we can definitely schedule something for that community. Yes, ma'am. We're okay. gonna we're gonna look forward to that and, and having you with us here in the Maryland area. So thank you so much. Love thank you both. Thank you very much. Love you. I love you thank too, you, Connor. Sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Dr. K. Pond is working with the event that you and I have worked with before at Ra with Rachel Pope. They, they've uh, expanded it again, and uh, she just kind of confirmed the uh, just really actually uh, yesterday. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, uh huh. Yeah, they they they're continuing to do that at the uh, PG uh, location that we used to go to. Okay. Um, you know, we've been very blessed to be in the community quite a bit uh, because of the work that we do. Um, you know, it takes us out of that doctor's office uh, kind of work with medicine and health and into the community. And you have uh, a couple of awards around Emancipation Day uh, for medical mental slavery. Um, there is going to be a very important award, I think, to, for you this year uh, in honor of your mother. And um, I really, really appreciate your mother, and I love the fact that you're honoring your mother in this way. Which you, which, Are you interested in sharing what that award consists of? Oh, yes. I'll take a few moments. Thank you very much. Because first, giving honor to the universe, to the creation, and all uh, citizens of planet Earth. Uh, you know, we are one. And that's not just a cliche, a statement. Everything is connected. And there's no separation. And that's the illusion of the man-made mindset of consciousness. And so when we can release that and know that we are all one, then our lives will eventually turn out to be much, much more happier, and you will be happier. And so as a part of um, honoring individuals that are willing to take a moment and just look at how they are treating their own bodies and their b beliefs from their families and their value system and seeing if it still works for them, we honor them. And um, we honor them with the... Uh, Dr. Nathaniel Kane's Self Health Care Award of the Year. And so we've had um, four or five different individuals that have won that award for various things, uh, like Rachel Pope, who released uh, 20 something medications. Uh, mm -hmm. We had Christine Como, who uh, in her uh, later years, in her 60s, let go of the belief that she was. Um, 
Uh, it was gene related and that, that she will always be in the state that she was in at 60 something. She let go, lost weight, um, got off all medications and is making changes in her family. So we honor individuals like that. Mm-hmm. And because I am a conscious self health care educator, I probably didn't define what I do, but one of the main things I do is I'm a conscious self health care educator. So I'm consciously working with you to look at your consciousness and your awareness and how you see things. And that's where you make the change at. The change doesn't happen in the material world. I mean, even though energy and matter is one and matter energy is one you know your consciousness rules this matter this particle could not be here if it wasn't for you giving it the life that it is and so as a conscious self healthcare edu- educator I guess it's no surprise Ayo that what I do came back to show me is it what you really do mm. and so <laughs> during my mother's transition my whole life and how I worked and what I've gone through um but like I say, I'm the I'm 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 a, I'm a mother's only living child. My mother wasn't mm-hmm. married, and so family members interfere with what you decide to do and whatever your relationship you had with your mother. And so I ended up going through some things that I didn't normally think that I would have to go through, but I did go through because people are so stuck in this paradigm of health care, and they believing that if your family member is put into and to me hospice and care like that is for when your family member is leaving. When you go into long term care facilities, there's an opportunity. They're saying that this person may not come back. They may can, and we're going to work with them. I know my mother's life. I know my mother's history. I honored what she thought and where she was. She honored me. And when the time came for me to make a decision, family members didn't like it. And, of course, the medical industry didn't like it, that I said, if that's the case and that's what you're telling me, there's no reason for me to do anything else with my mother but allow her being to go. And if her power and her body and her energy cannot sustain her, then she's saying that she no longer want to be here. Give her that opportunity for 24 hours. Well, that was shocking to them. They didn't want that. And so they created an environment that looked like hysteria. And so I had to sit back and be quiet. And because I am who I am, I am a doctor in quantum physics. I am a bioenergetic practitioner, which is not really known in the United States as much, you know, because they're not willing to accept quantum physics. So I'm one of the pioneering practitioners. And my family members know that. And they know how I feel about disease thoughts, disease thinking, and caring for a disease. And when your body is at a state of weakness with no energy in it, what do you do with it? when the person cannot speak for themselves anymore. So I was speaking for my mother. That was a tremendous um, environment for me. A lot of energy shifting had to go on. So I'm on it myself with the conscious Ah. health care. But what I've gone through and what I'm going through right now in bringing Mm -hmm. about this major understanding about not only should we choose our pathway to wellness, but we should choose our pathway to death. Mm. and how we are going to die and what mm. is going to happen to our bodies. But since we are sage and baby boomers mm-hmm. and we are no longer of the belief that we're supposed to get old, crepit, and die somewhere in a nursing home somewhere, people are changing. The yeah. 80s and 90s year old now looking better than the 20s and 30 year olds. Yes, so, they you know, are. It's a big shift. So a lot of people are not going to be going out that way anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, and so we have to really, really look at that. And so as a part of this, fifth anniversary, that is going to be a part of something that I'm going to anchor into and letting people understand that whole process and what I went through. So as we honor Brother Jamal with the Community Visionary Award of the Year, you know, um, he also um, was a part of Stevie Wonder's um, show uh, he used to do on uh, KJLX H. 102.3, which was owned by Stevie Wonder. And so we, we, you know, we just want to make sure that people understand that they have the power that is Mm -hmm. all within you. And, uh, and so, and I'll be sharing my story of how I had to honor myself, keep my mouth shut and be still and watch my mother suffer for 25 days because had I spoke up, they would have said that it's a conspiracy. She's against the system Mm. and things like that. And so I had to be still. And now I get to ask the question, what did you do with my mother for 20 days? Mm -hmm. Wow. And now that I've gone through the process. Yeah. Yeah. It's been quite a journey for you and it's been quite a journey for your mother. And so many of us are in alignment with the same journey uh, because we have friends who wanted to go a self-care route and are actually challenged by medical doctors. Uh, we have a, a dear friend who, uh, his son, his, his daughter was actually uh, threatened uh, that the daughter would be taken away from him and his um, the mother. And uh, I'm sure we've got 
other other very horrible stories out there as to how the medical world has made it very, very difficult for people who decide to take a different route. We're going to come back to you, Dr. K, in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, of course, I want you to explain to our audience what really is quantum healing? Uh, tell us about you being a nest practitioner uh, because these are concepts that I know the Sage and Baby Boomer community really, really want to know about. They may have heard it once before on our show, and if they uh, follow your show heart to heart, they hear about it every week. But we're introducing our audience uh, again to these very advanced concepts that really, really need to be looked at because they do work. Hold your seats, and we will be right back here on the Sage and Baby Boomer Show where we say you're not just aging, we're saging. We're growing wiser as we age. Oh, yes, indeed. Positive energy works. Positive energy works. Positive energy works all day long for you. Come out this Saturday in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area and experience the healing sounds of Brother John Davies three and myself, Dr. Ayo Handy Kendi, as we'll be connecting breath with sound through our company Earth Love Tune Up Crew, the musical instruments and the words and the message that helps us achieve a higher vibration. With breath and sound. We'll be at Touche's on H Street. This is a brand new black woman's own restaurant, I understand, on H Street Northeast. And we'll be part of a performance uh, with uh, Bliss the Violinist and uh, Bone, Copper Rose and Bone. So give us a call at 202-667-2577, 202-667-2577 for further ticket information. That's this Saturday, uh, the 25th of April uh, from 6 to 9 p.m. And then for those in the L.A. area, Positive Energy Works sponsors the Power of the Breath Tour 4, this life-changing interactive breath shop of relearning how to breathe, breath awareness, stress busters, sound healing, laughter, and the art of self-pleasure. It's coming to you May 31st from 6 to 9 at Crash Unity Center of African Spiritual Science. That's located at 7825 Southwestern Avenue in Los Angeles. We are bringing the Power of the Breath Tour to you. We're heading to uh, Philly the following month. We'll be heading to Spain the following month of July and New York. And we have North Carolina, Jersey, and Atlanta all waiting to confirm their dates when the Power of the Breath Tour gets on the road to breathe into you that which you are just ready to breathe back into the universe to span your life by expanding your breath. Master your life by mastering your breath. Be all that you can be with the power of the breath. Minute to Minute Yoga. We'll see you at the Power of the Breath Tour uh, as we head out to the West Coast and stand by for more information as the Power of the Breath Tour comes to your city or town. And yes, we will be having Power the Breath Tour activities and events on Skype for our international community. 
Further information, call 202-667-2577 or the website www.positiveenergyworks.com. Remember, E, one E, connects positive with energy so that you can be the most positive that you can be. Yes, positive energy works, and positive energy has really appreciated the opportunity to share with <laughs> Dr. K over the years in collaboration for this day, Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery, April the 30th, but all month, April, all month of April, uh, Dr. K, I guess, has proclaimed that this is a month that we can be about our own self-care. We should be about self-care all the time, but this month is really a special focus and awareness, and activities continue around uh, this whole concept. As Dr. K is actually a practicing, uh, uh, a holistic practitioner, uh, nest care provider, and uh, in her work and her practice, uh, she speaks about us really moving into a realm of what is called quantum care, quantum care, quantum self-care in particular. Dr. K, explain to the audience as a nest practitioner what do you do and what really is quantum self-care? Wow, the wonderful question, Dr. Ayo Handy Kendi. And oh, uh, good oftentimes, you know, when people ask me questions and things like that, I normally put it back on them. And um, because terms and feelings uh, change, but simplicity, uh, there's definitions out there in Webster. There are definitions by the people that came up with the term quantum health and healing or quantum healing or quantum health. But uh, I adapted quantum health and healing because of self care because mm-hmm. of consciousness, because of me wanting to and understanding and recognizing and accepting that I am totally responsible for my being here on earth. Mm-hmm. There is nothing external that I don't bring into my vibration that has mm-hmm. anything to do with how I care for myself. So quantum simply means one, oneness with self, that you are responsible for yourself, that there is no separation in anything in life. And most importantly, you are not separated from the frequency of life. That's why you're here. And so at the most simplest terms, when I say that, because I'm wanting to people to be aware of their own vibration, of their own frequency, of their own human body feel, which leads into Ness Health. Peter Frazier was the first to figure out and bring the field of information into an understanding where they know about energy. Energy moves, but information governs energy. And he was able to determine that through the human body feel. And they were able to match a perfect human body feel with um software that can tell you where you have distortions in your human body field, where your information is stagnated, because disease is really stagnated information that really doesn't know what to do. And so when we understand that, we know that we can make those corrections. So quantum health and healing is all about bringing all the understanding that's within you intuitively for you to embrace that and know that what you feel and know in your heart, and not through emotions, I'm talking about feeling of energy, of the positive Mm -hmm. energy of who you are, because we get that word feeling mixed up with emotions Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and feeling of intuitiveness. You know how to care for yourself. You are nature. You are this tree. You are, you know, the insects. You are all of this. And we have just been totally separated from that. So the whole goal is to bring awareness back to you and be willing to accept that responsibility of self-care. And Nest Health Tools is on the front edge, the cutting edge of not only incorporating all of the healing arts, TMC, Ayurvedic, everything, but bringing the understanding and the information that's now been 
scientifically proven about the invisible made visible through energy medicine. And uh, one of the major researchers, Jim Oshman, is, is, was able to put this information in a book. The in, in, individuals can understand how energy and information is what governs life. And so when you are responsible for that and when you take that responsibility to be the observer of your life, to decide to make changes in your life for yourself, you're going to create just what you want. And so that's basically what I do is bring people back to themselves because it's called a return to self-care, a return to love, creating a new relationship with yourself. And it's not going to match other people around you because, remember, they're vibrating at a lower frequency than you are. And that's not to take anything away from people. According to how you are, it's what you vibrate to, the words that you vibrate to, the words that you use. And people find I'm very careful not to live in a duality world. I'm very careful not to say low power energy words. So no, there's no sadness in my life. No, there's no this in my life because I am making a choice. I am choosing to bring in those strong, uplifting vibrations into my life and around me all the time. And that's what we have to do and that's what we should do. So that's basically the message. So I want to let people to know that I do write periodically for the Washington former newspaper. I have done so for the past 20 years. And I'm thankful for Denise, the vision, and Ron, how they allow you to bring in this conscious self-care information in the midst of all the other ads and, and information that's in that paper. So today is Thursday. The new release of the Washington Forum is out. I have an article in there that talks about the emancipation program, the celebration, how we're doing it online. But more importantly, because I want to reach the community that is most affected by the so-called uh, disenfranchise. Uh, my new program is Welfare to Wellness, Moving Beyond TANF, you know, creating a whole new relationship mm. with your self-mindfulness. And the only people, it's a niche, and it's the first time in my life, but the only people that get to attend this program is those that are receiving TANF, those that receive food stamps and those that have a mental support issue because it's time that you embrace yourself and know that some of the things that you are feeling is true. They're true for you. And who is somebody else to say that you can't have those feelings and want to work that way? So I want to bring harmony and balance back into the lives of the people that really need it. So it's been, an, it's been a 15-year walk for me getting this program to where I wanted to bring it at. And so I'm excited to bring it into the community. That information is in the paper and it's going to be duplicated to be taken around the world because I I know that we can move from welfare to wellness with that mentality out there. We can shift it. I like that name, welfare to wellness. That's, that's yeah. a powerful name. That's a powerful name. Dr. K, uh, Jamal is letting me know we're getting close to the end of the show. How can people connect with you? Um, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, again, I'm Dr. Karen Khadija Davis, folks. I'm a preventive medicine doctor, doctor of mythology, pioneer nest health wellness coach, and conscious self health care educator. I'm the founder of the Arc of Self Healing and Self Help. Health Education for Longevity and Peace. It's a health wellness maintenance organization for the prevention of disease. Uh, you can reach me. The number is 202-248-7749, 202-248-7749. I have an educational website that no matter where you are in your life, no matter what you feel you're struggling with, if you go to forsellife.com, the number four, the word sell, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E.com, click on any link and it will lead you to a pathway of wellness for you to be able to create a whole new prescription plan for yourself. Um, my new website is Conscious Self Care, where I, I adapted from you, the S Connects Conscious and self, I love saying that. Thank you so much. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ConsciousSelfCare.com. You can go there. That's where the latest information is. And um, the GoFundMe site, um, forward slash um, self love, will give you all the information on Emancipate Yourself and Medical Mental Slavery Day, the updates. And uh, I'm available to come to you. Um, and support you with having your community really take a look, a hard look at the choices that you're making through your consciousness and health care. And, yes, it's no cut cause. I bring it to you straight. Yeah, and you do. Uh, you're also available uh, when you do come to people. You, you do speak. Uh, you do programming. Uh, you um, actually have guests on your radio show, Heart to Heart. So people need to know how to hear you on Inner Light Radio. 
Thank you. Yeah. You know, we never told out. We never really be toting our own horns and things like I that. I know, <laughs> man. So we got yes, each other. I'm proud and so thankful that Ayo introduced me to Inner Light Radio. <laughs> and so, you know, I did a show for many years on WOL and some other stations. But uh-huh. I'm glad to be a part of the family of Inner Light Radio. So I come on every Tuesday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Heart to Heart with Dr. K. And it's healthy information. And so I share with you about quantum physics. I share with you the new data, the new information, and we just bring people on that have made the change, that have made the shift, and let them tell their stories about how they've done that to empower you to just step out of that zone of comfortability of what's been known and give yourself an opportunity to flourish. Family, community, and friends, no matter where you are in your life, no matter how long you've been suffering with your illness, no matter how long you've been on medication, your life can shift within 24 hours if you say so. Okay, that's a challenge. That is a good challenge, and it's a it's a realistic uh, endeavor. Um, you help guide people in that path, and uh, I've actually seen people make that shift. And so I'm so thankful to walk with you and learn from you. Uh, you have a book. Uh, give people the name of the book that you have. Oh yeah, well I'm excited. Yeah, uh, my new book is coming out. It should be out in June. Um, prayerfully the energy will move it's choices move beyond disease care to conscious self health care and it's a conversation with um, angel light energy John Christopher it shares my history my past and where I'm at but the book that you were speaking of is um, um, stepping up out of the dark ages of health care I'm hoping to have that book as a free book when you purchase my new book so uh-huh. they will have that book of that history about um, disease mongering and that whole realm of how do you leave that uh, stepping up out of the dark ages of disease care. So I'm hoping to have that as a free book along with my new book. All right. I'm so thankful that you could take time to just uh, speak to our, our worldwide audience here on the Sage and Baby Boomer Show. And uh, folks, don't get stuck with just what your doctors tell you. Uh, reach out. Uh, do your own work. Uh, reach towards many sources. Okay, uh, Dr. K is available. We hope to have you come back next week uh, to listen to the broadcast on Thursday, April the 30th, as we share with the world. Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day, April 30th, here on Inner Light Radio, as we honor Brother Jamal, and we honor all of you. Because remember, we're not just aging, we're saging. We're growing wiser as we age. Peace. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Ayo Handikini. Thank you very much.